So I'm going to look at the next ion test, which is for the halide ions. Um, first of all, what do we mean by the halide ions? Well, it's those from the halogens. So that will be the fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide. Don't use the fluoride because it's too reactive. So the three we are going to have a look at are the fluoride, the bromide, and the iodide. And I'm just going to pop that in first. Now, I've actually put them in in the order of the periodic table because that's how I uh, remember the colours of the precipitates. It really helps me because you'll see the pattern as we fill these in. So to test for the halide ions, we are going to form a precipitate. And to do that, I need to add silver nitrate solution because what it's going to do is to form the silver halide uh, precipitate. To do that, I need to first of all though react off any impurities within the sample. So if I'm going to add silver nitrate, I want to add an acid to react off the impurities. So I need to add in the matching acid. So for this case it's going to be nitric acid because nitric acid and nitrate. If I added hydrochloric acid, then suddenly I'm adding a chloride into the test, so I'm going to get a false result. So I'm just going to put that up as being um, what we actually have to add to do the test. And what you need to do is to have that in and the table in. Okay, so I've put that in and I've started to write the equation down here. Um, the first one we're going to carry out is the test of the chloride ion, and I'm actually going to use sodium chloride. Um, the formulae of the silver nitrate was actually AgNO3, so I'm just going to pop some state symbols so far into this equation. So I've got the sodium chloride, so the state symbol is going to be, yep, Aq. And I'm adding in silver nitrate, that's the solution just there. So again, AQ. So I'm going to add the silver, well, I'm first of all going to add some drops of the nitric acid. So I'll do that first, and that will then remove any carbonate impurities. And then I'm going to add the silver nitrate solution, and hopefully we'll see what happens. So I'm getting a precipitate forming, because that's the solid in there. And that uh, is a white precipitate, and we can pop that into the table. So I've got white. And in terms of finishing off the equation, well, it actually forms silver chloride. The silver ion is a 1 plus ion, so it's AgCl. That's the precipitate, so it has a state symbol of yep, an S. And then the other product is what's left, which is the sodium nitrate. And that is going to be a solution, so therefore a state symbol of AQ. Now, just as an aside, I'm not going to run through the forming of the ionic equation here, but I am just going to pop in what that ionic equation would be. Because if you remember, the ionic equation was all about what changed state. So it's all about forming the silver chloride. And then I can look to see what ions have formed that silver chloride. And what I've actually got is the chloride ion here and the silver ion here. So I've got a Cl minus aqueous and an Ag plus aqueous forming the silver chloride solid. And the rest of the spectator ions I've excluded from that. Okay, so I'm going to move on then to the next um, test, which was for the bromide ion. 
I've got some um, sodium bromide here. Same thing again, add a few drops of the acid. And then I'm going to add my silver nitrate. And you can see now this looks very similar, but this actually is slightly creamier than the white one. Can if I actually have them next to each other, you can see the difference. That's why I said the order in the table is important, because this is the white one, and the next one along is cream. So, okay, I've written that one into the table, and then I'm going to look at the iodide one. So again, the drops of the nitric acid, I'm going to add to it. And then I'm going to add the silver nitrate. See the precipitate forming? Lovely yellow colour. So if I actually had these um, against each other, if I lined them up without dropping them, Hopefully you can see that it goes from being white to cream to yellow. So they do get darker precipitates as you go down that group. I'm just going to pop that into the table now. So the last one was yellow. Okay, so they are the tests for our halide ions and those are the precipitate colours.